G'day everyone, this is Just Dopey here, back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Philips Natural 10 ACDC portable colour TV from somewhere between 1980 and 1982. I got this around on eBay back in uh, May last year, I think. It's in uh, really good physical shape. It's just a little bit dusty on the inside. But other than that, there's not really a lot of defects to it. But still got the two antennas though, which I haven't broken off, thankfully. Although there's no use for them, I still like to have them as, a, they, look, as they look good. And it makes the set feel complete. Now, coming over here. This set uses a, a tuning system where you got these actually not tuning button in individually tuning buttons so what they do they actually a preset labeled on a number that will on a number number that represents the channel that was commonly used at the time so you got channel two which i think that's abc zero i'm not sure what that's used for probably some extra uh probably for some extra ch uh channel you got seven which was channel seven 9, which is channel 9, 10 is channel 10, 3 and 4 were your um, VCR RF input channels, I think, and you got U, which is your UHF. So, this set has a unique tuning cha channel, so it's, so it's pretty automatic, so what you do is that you select a preset channel, like two or zero it, every time you switch on the set it resets back to two so you just select a preset and depending on what channel you want you've got three buttons here not sure if you can see that clearly i don't think you can but you've got three buttons there so this one is vhf flow so that's think that's one to five or one to five a and you've got VHF high, which is 6 to 11, and you got UHF, which is all UHF channels. So what you do is that you select a range of what you want the preset to tune into, and the CRT, the TV, sweeps through, scans every channel until it can pick up a signal. I'll show you that in a bit. Over here, you got your auxiliary control, so you got your contrast, brightness, and color. Over here, you got your volume control, and there's your power switch, and there's your earphone jack. Also, another thing that you might not have noticed, or you might have noticed by now, is that the CRT, the CRT is actually sticking out. It's not recessed in. This is because. Philips is a European uh, company, and this was very common for European television sets to have the tube sticking out like this, with the tube bulging out out of the housing. That's a very European design. I think it's for styling reasons. I don't think there's an actual purpose for it. This is for styling. Anyway, without further ado, we'll turn it on. All right, so we're gonna set a channel. So we got it on two, and you'll see how it tunes. So I'm gonna press this button right here, and you'll see how it tunes in. See the line going across there? That's to tell how far in you through and through the range you're scanning it. Uh, maybe it doesn't like that one. All right, we'll try. VHF high. Now this one's a green one. It's got a green bar. Oh, there we go. Oh, some brightness a up a bit. A little bit better. And then you've got music. So you get the color control there. At first sight, it looks like a jeweler's or. Despite this a nine-inch tube, it's got a really good picture quality. In fact, it sells. Very impressive with it. 
marijuana. Okay, sure, it's definitely not Local. a four k ultra high definition type TV, but thinking Canada of the tube size, that's a nine inch CRT, and the year it's from, it's got a decent picture. The symbol of the freewheeling counterculture is now being freely wheeled out over the Alright, let's see what's on TV. What looks like. SBS one. Seven Perth. Oh, the morning show. Like a, wow, yeah, wait, what do we have here? Yes. Holding a piece okay. of pizza. How long was that? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it's like twenty seconds, is it? Okay, yeah, okay. Wow. Yeah. See, uh, the, Today, the extra. Lyrics, right? the, the, Sesame the Street parody. Uh, the Finn McCall's a bit too rich. I think better than the original. I relate to this more than the original. Yeah, yeah. So all the new Central Perth. Oh, God. Studio 10. No. 10 page. The middle. Mm. Really, you don't. Oh, it's this cursed you show that I was watching you last don't. night. That again. Star Trek. Next generation. Sweet. Tension. Tires to scoop away sand when we drive. Ah, it's blazing the monster machines. That's cursed. You are a very big star these days, not a. All right. It was in. Was there a bronzy color in this? A chocolatey color? Yeah, it was. I wore that one too. Now, Miss Marianne. Another automatic function that this TV has. Is that and every time I you switch it on, this, ladies, you, you hear move, like a bing type sound you feel like you've got and you'll see like a line so across the screen. So now what that function and, uh, is, and no, I'm going, down. now what that function is, is called a degaussing function. So what degaussing means is that, what degaussing is, is that it removes, it's a function that removes unwanted magnetism that corrects color disturbance. So that's why sometimes, like, especially in arcade machines, you get like miscolored splotches because of, because each, um, because the electron, uh, because the electron beams are striking the wrong phosphor, so you get that discoloration. And what degaussing does is it, it corrects that by removing that unwanted magnetism that's causing that discoloration on the screen. Yeah, I'll try and see if I can get it to do that. There we go. You heard that bing? That's a degaussing function. Alright. As you can see here, there's like a display up here to tell us what preset we set on. So if I press zero, that tells us we're on zero, which is static. Seven, nine, Four, which is um, this one's actually set to the same uh, frequency as channel two. So, yeah. Back to two, which is just, just the same thing. Because again, both channel two and channel four, I set them both to uh, the same channel. But just a preset channel. Some TV sets is just one to eight. Or, black, see, or 1, 2, 11, like the whole VHF range and with the U at the end, vice versa. But this well, one has it as a commonly used uh, commonly used channels at the time. All right. Yeah. I'll switch it off now. Alright, thank you for watching and more to come later. Bye!